Sau bona. Unjani. Gia pila. Wamu kele kile. Gia jabule uku wamu kele kile uya. Nam slange. Nam slange si zo hoka nom tisha. Isi spanishi. Futi isi fluenshi. Si zo la lela kakulu. Si zo fundisa kakulu. Ujabulele. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Yuti. Je viens originellement de Vietnam, non, non, de Californie. Mais à l'âge de 9 ans, je suis venue en Virginie. Et c'est là que j'habite maintenant. Je suis professeur ici. Et j'ai deux enfants, Joe et Lauren. Espero que a mí si me entiendan algunos. Um, mi nombre es Valeria Eschemann Robles, soy la maestra de español 2, 3 y 4, soy de Guatemala, tengo 31 años y tengo un hijo, se llama Matías y mi esposo se llama Ryan, él es el entrenador de soccer. We just thought, since we're the modern languages department, we should throw you a little bit and kind of um, go ahead and introduce ourselves in uh, one of our languages that we know. So that's all we did. The rest of this will be in English, I promise. Um, once you are logged in, if you could go ahead and put your phone down for a sec. Yes, we are going to play a Kahoot, but I want to just, um, yeah, just talk a little bit. So again, my name is Mrs. Yutzi, um, and I started here by teaching French and then added on Spanish. And I also am in charge of the learning support here at, at Eastern Mennonite School. So, you know, if you ever have any questions or struggles in a certain class, I'm one of the people that you can go to to help. Go. Um, I teach Spanish 2, 3, and 4. My name is uh, Mrs. ER, or Valeria Eschumann Robles. And I teach Spanish 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> so, so today we are going to play a Kahoot. You can get your phones out now. Um, unfortunately, we have the account set up, so we only bought the account that can um, accommodate 100 uh, logins. So every other person could get on, but probably not every person. So I want you to kind of get with your elbow partner, um, somebody that has a phone, and you can kind of talk together. Okay? <laughs> so it's kahoot.it, um, and the code is 48572. We're going to go ahead and start in about 20 seconds. Mr. Gardner, you can go ahead and start as soon as you're ready. Uh, even if you're not playing along, you'll be able to learn so much, so <laughs> no worries. Um, again, we're Miss ER and Miss Yotzi. You're first. And we are the Modern Languages Department here at the Middle and High School. Go to the next, oh, if you wouldn't mind advancing, and I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. All right, so that's my family. That's Matias. He's two, and he is wild. He is always running around, and he's starting preschool. His actual first day is tomorrow. I know. And that's me when I was the senior's age. I'm in orange. And she's my, still my friend. Uh, she was my bridesmaid in my, for my wedding, and I was her bridesmaid too. And I don't know what we're doing. I think that's a phone. Um, Ms. ER sent me several pictures, and I just kind of threw a bunch in, so she had no choice. She was stalking me on Facebook. <laughs> she said, and, yeah. uh, so I was the one that made this kahoot and wanted to make sure to embarrass Joseph as much as possible. Uh, he's currently a junior and way taller than me, but there he is at the beach several years ago. 
um, as well as my husband and my daughter. My husband, my daughter, and Joe all went to Eastern Mennonite School, so here, and I did not. Interesting. Okay, and here's a fun fact. <laughs> um, back when we had Hurricane Katrina, Mr. Bixler and I and a couple of other teachers took a van load of kids um, through Mennonite Disaster Service um, to Alabama to help uh, with the cleanup there. So that is Ryan Eshelman in ninth grade. Um, still has lots of hair. Um, he was my shotgun the whole time, and we didn't have any way to communicate with each other, so we would um, make signs and then pass the other van. So Mr. Bixler was driving the other van, and, you know, Bix, stay on the road. So he must have, like, <laughs> um, tried to, or must have swerved at some point or something like that. So we would, you know, that's how we passed the time, because it was, like, 15, 18 hours of driving. It was horrible. Um, Bix, we want Arby's, that sort of stuff was what we would say pretty much the whole time. It was a great trip, though. Loved it. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's your quiz. Who's always wanted to be a teacher? <laughs> Miss ER, Miss Yutzi, both or neither? Okay, so yes, we have both always wanted to be teachers. Um, my mom will tell you that ever since I was um, in Sunday school, I would teach my dolls Sunday school lessons and um, never thought of ever doing anything else, um, though I've had side jobs along the way. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher regardless of what I was teaching. <laughs> I taught dance, I think some of you know that, and any kind of teaching, I, I just enjoy that. Um, for the rest of this Kahoot, a lot of these are going to be, is it Miss ER or is it Miss Yetzi? And Miss ER is always going to be the red on the left, and Miss Yetzi is always going to be the blue, just to give you extra points. Um, also note there are pictures that we added to each of these that don't seem to stay up, unfortunately, so that's kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> all right, keep going. <laughs> Who was younger when she started teaching? <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is hard to believe, but I was younger when I started teaching. I'm just so old now. Um, that was a picture of me in ninth grade, though. Um, but, yeah, right after Bridgewater College, I went straight here. I uh, got a job as a French teacher and never left. Um, also, of interesting note, um, the school was very desperate. They hired me. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> they hired me even though I was a Southern Baptist. Um, my family's very patriotic. Um, didn't feel like I fit at all at the beginning. Um, but through a lot of conversations over lunch with my colleagues, I had some very wise um, teacher friends who kind of helped me learn about um, being Mennonite. Uh, you know, I kind of was transformed. And um, especially, it was, you know, it was especially helpful during 9-11, I would say. You know, we were able to talk through things together. Um, this is my 28th year of teaching here. Yeah. I am the school dinosaur now. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Which teacher played team sports in high school? Um, you're going to talk about, uh, there's a spot for you. I remember one, yeah. Okay, keep going. And, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, in 1992 was the year I graduated from Fauquier High School. Um, I played field hockey and I ran track. I was not very good, um, but I was able to do those two things. Um, of special note, 
uh, Ms. Sloniker, so Ryan's mom, and um, Isaiah Campbell's mom both also went to Fauquier High School. It was a huge school. My graduating class had 600 students. We're just in the senior class. We were so overcrowded that they only allowed 10th through 12th graders there. Um, so it, it was quite a different experience to, to come here and teach here afterwards. Um, there was, at that time, in the early 90s, lots of racial tension um, between different groups at our school. There were fights all the time, drug searches, all sorts of uh, fun, exciting things. Um, I, you know, was a very quiet student, um, very average. I got straight B's and A's all the way through. There was nothing I was exceptionally good at, including sports. Um, and really didn't blossom, I would say, as a person until I came here and where I feel like I can be myself. So it's kind of a nice feeling to, to be able to kind of interact with you guys every day. Next. Who created content for the United Nations? Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at that hair, guys. <laughs> Okay, did you guys see my hair? It was red. <laughs> um, I created a dance choreography. It was a, a, a piece, a, a dance that represented women's oppression through Guatemalan's history. So it was about women and how um, it's been a hard journey and it's still in many places in Central America. So that was fun. It was a really, really cool, um, experience. I'm not going to show it to you, but if you're curious, you can maybe Google it and it might be there. Uh, but yeah, so that was me. I created something from for the UN. Which teacher was a good athlete and enjoyed sports in school? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. It was not me. <laughs> I was the clumsiest kid ever. Um, I tried to be a cheerleader in middle school and failed both times. Didn't ever make the cut. And so that's one of the many reasons I'm so happy to be here where I can be a cheerleader and don't have to do any of those um, routines. But it's actually Miss ER who enjoyed sports in school and was really a good athlete. Why were you not on a team sport, though, Miss ER? Because we didn't have any. <laughs> My school, so for those who don't know, I was born and raised in Guatemala. I went to a private school, but it was a small school. And I was able to go to that school because I had financial aid. My family couldn't afford private school. Even though it was a small private school, we didn't have a single sports team, <laughs> nothing. The only times you could play sports was PE and recess. So even though we didn't have teams, I loved PE and I was really fast. I used to be fast and always liked like physical stuff. And I guess that's why I also decided to dance. Um, so no, a lot of chances for sports, unfortunately, but I guess I live vicariously through you and that's why I cry every time you guys play a sport and get so excited um, because I really feel like the emotion of yeah, sports. We can go to the next. Way to go, Bright Finch. <laughs> Who was in a short film that won Best Picture at a film festival? Is that, unfortunately, that's not the same. Oh. You should show them. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. She was kissing. And it was not my husband. <laughs> and it was not her husband. <laughs> I don't even Tell know. Tell us more, Ms. ER. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> it's really bad. Don't Google it. Don't watch it. It's terrible. I die at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> but, it but it won an award at a film festival. I thought yeah, that was pretty did. awesome. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> um, so interestingly, you know, I came up to her room yesterday and said, look, I found this newspaper article of me playing field hockey. Woohoo, you know, isn't that great? I'm going to use it in our slideshow. And she was like, oh, I have nothing like that. I created content for the UN. <laughs> And I was, I won this film festival, and here I am kissing a guy. I have nothing like that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but I still had to show you guys, like, here's me, front oh, page of my local paper. There you go. <laughs> it is pretty much one of the proudest moments of my life. <laughs> Other than how proud I am of my kids all the time. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> Who met her husband after cutting in line in front of him in the lunch line? <laughs> yeah. <Good job. laughs> yes, you should not cut in line. There's no such thing as seniority anymore, guys. I learned that. Don't do it. But it did work out really well for me. Um, <laughs> we struck up a conversation. Interestingly, after that, for about two weeks, uh, he was playing soccer, and I was playing field hockey at Bridgewater College, where we met. And um, I'd watch for his big, long yellow socks, because he was, you know, he had blue and gold socks from when he played here. So I'd watch his team as they'd walk by, rather than actually participating in practice. I'd be like, oh, where's Jay? What's he doing now? Um, and I got so much trouble all the time, you know, Rebecca, look at the ball, Rebecca, how'd you miss that? And I'm just, oh, anyway. So uh, field hockey wasn't for me. I was way more interested in watching the soccer guys. But, um, and we found out later on too, we would like time our entrances to the cafeteria or when we'd go back and get seconds, which was allowed at Bridgewater, um, by when we thought the other person would come through. It was such a cute little romance we had. Um, anyway, so. It worked for me. Let's go on. Joe, how are you not winning? <laughs> what job has Miss Eshiman Robles never done? Chon, chon. Okay, I'm gonna explain that quickly. College professor in Guatemala, <laughs> so it's it's completely different. Um, I was teaching at a small private university in the rural area in Guatemala, so outside of the city, and I was teaching um, teachers, future teachers, how to future dance teachers, how to write dance because you can write dance like you can write music. So I was teaching that and history of dance, really fun, believe it or not, and uh, I ended up teaching them how to write. So that's, that was one of my jobs before moving to the US. Not McDonald's, but it'll be cool. What job is I, what have I never done, but always wanted to do? I've always wanted to be a second grade teacher. Um, <laughs> I have been a food line cashier last summer. It was very eye-opening. Um, I've been, I worked at Arby's. That was wonderful. And I used to work medical records during college breaks. Um, so, but I have always wanted to be a second grade teacher. I'm glad I'm here instead though, because um, you guys know how to blow your nose and tie your shoes and stuff. Um, <laughs> I hope. Uh, that is all. If you are the winner, come up and see me and we'll figure out some sort of a prize. <laughs> I knew I had to add that one. Though. <laughs> Look, guys. <laughs> well, I'm kissed. Rob made that for me a couple years ago. Alrighty. We should pray. Hold on. We need to pray, too. Yay! Good job. Who's the winner? Oliver. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Hold on, hold on. Just a minute. Let's pray. pray. Hold on. Blah, blah. All right, never mind. Pray to yourselves on the way. Go. <laughs> Have a good day.